Okay, this is side two of the 8-2 practice, Prentice Hall, special right triangles. This side focuses on 30, 60, 90 triangles. So to kind of set this up, let's pretend that we have a isosceles or equilateral triangle. All these side lengths are the same. Let's call them all X. Then let's imagine we have an altitude in this isosceles triangle and let's look at the angles if this is an isosceles but this is an equilateral triangle it's also equiangular which means that these angles are 60 degrees and the altitude bisects the vertex angle which makes this a 60 a 30 degree angle and it gives us a perpendicular to the base at the midpoint so this side over here is going to be x over 2. It's this length here. It's x over 2. This length here is x. And this length here, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find. So let's see what we get. So we'll call this y. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we've got a hypotenuse, which is x. So x squared minus one of the legs that they give us squared, which is x over 2 squared, equals the side we're trying to find squared. So let's simplify this. We've got x squared minus x squared over 4. This x over 2 times x over 2 gives us x squared over 4. That's equal to y squared. Uh, to kind of combine everything together, let's put everything over a common denominator of 4. This one's actually over 1. So if we do times 4, we get 4x squared. So this gives us the x squared over 1 part. And then we have minus x squared, which is the x squared over 4 part right here. And that's equal to y squared. 4x squared take away x squared is 3x squared. So we have 3x squared over 4 is equal to y squared. Take the square root of both sides and flip it around. Y is going to be an X comes out of the X squared. A 2 comes out into the denominator. So we end up with like X over 2 and square root of 3 stays stuck inside the radical. So we have root 3 X over 2 as the length for this um, altitude. So let's kind of look at it this way. The short side doubled, which is x over 2. So if we take x over 2 and we double it, we get x. So the short side times 2 gives us the hypotenuse. The short side is for this one, x over 2. And then this altitude, which is the medium size side, the side opposite the 60 versus the short side opposite the 30, the medium size side is going to be this short side, which is x over 2 times root 3. So it's going to be x over 2 times root 3. So root 3 times the short side gives the other leg. Double the short side gives the hypotenuse. And that's just for this triangle here. So let's look and see what we got going on with these others. So um, instead of using x over 2, we're going to go for uh, like an integer type thing. So the short side for this one, we're going to let be 1. Double the 1 for 2 is going to be the hypotenuse. And like we saw over here for the medium side, the side times root 3, so 1 times root 3, is going to give us the side opposite the 60 degree angle. So for 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have 1 for the short side, root 3 for the medium size side, 
and 2 for the long side. So the short side is 1, double the short side is hypotenuse, short side times root 3 gives us the other leg. We can do variations of this. If we know the hypotenuse, divide by 2, we got the short side, short side times root 3 gives us the other leg. If we have the leg, then divide out root 3, and we got the short side, double the short side, we have the hypotenuse. So let's see. So to start find the length of the leg, use the 30-60-90 triangle theorem to write an equation in terms of x. So for this one, I guess we would have 20 is equal to 2 times x, which means that x is going to be 10. And we could do it this way also. 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. 10 times 2 gives us 20. This y side now is going to be 10 times the square root of 3. It's going to be 10 square root of 3. Let's go to that side, let's go to that side, and we already have 20 is this side here. Okay, so what we got going on with these others? So let's look at number 12. They're giving us that this is a 14. Remember, 30, 60, 90s, 1, square root of 3, 2. The hypotenuse is double the short side. This hypotenuse is 14. Remember, hypotenuse, longest side, or opposite the right angle. This is double the short side. The short side in this one is y, so y must be 7. And then the medium size side is going to be the short side times root 3, 7 square root of 3. And we've got that one. So we get 13. Here they're giving us the short side. So double the short side, or 30, is going to be the hypotenuse. Again, hypotenuse along the side, opposite the right angle. And the short side times root 3 is going to be the other leg. So we get 15 root 3. Now these could all be done with Pythagorean theorem. Um, or could we? Really, these can't even be done with Pythagorean theorem because we would have to have another side length. So these are impossible to do without knowing the special triangle relationships. Okay, let's see what's going on with number 14. So here's the 30. Why is the short side? The short side times root 3 gives the other leg. So if 8 root 3 is the other leg, that's equal to the short side times root 3. Take root 3 out of both sides, 8 is equal to the short side. We could have done that probably in our head. And then double the short side, or 16, is going to be the hypotenuse. Second so number 15. The short side times root 3 makes the medium sized side for the other leg. So take the root 3 out, we get 4 for the short side. Double the 4 gives us 8 for the hypotenuse. So I get number 18. So here we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle set up. Remember, there's a, with the short side, opposite the 30, there's a 1. The other leg is a root, two, root 3, and the hypotenuse is a 2. So the top of a giant slide is 30 feet off the ground. It's got a 30 degree angle. To the nearest whole foot, what's the distance down the slide? In other words, what's the hypotenuse? And to find that, that's going to be double the short side. So if the short side is 30, double the short side, or 60 feet, is going to be the length of the hypotenuse. I want to know how, long, how far along the ground it went. We could do 30 divided by root 3, and that would give us this dimension here. Let's go ahead and set that up. So 30 divided by root 3 have to rationalize it, we get root 3 over root 3 as a multiplier, 
because we can't want to cancel this out. That gives us a 3, root 9 in the bottom, which is 3. And we have 30 root 3 in the numerator. 3 goes into 30 10 times, 10 root 3. So in simplest radical form, if they wanted us to find it, this distance would be 10 root 3, which is 30 divided by root, or 30 times root 3. Maybe that's a mistake. Let's see, double root 3. This should be 30 root 3. Okay, so I did this. Let me scratch this. Now, what if we wanted to find this length here, knowing that this is a 30? Since this is the 30, 60, 90, the short side times root 3 would be the other leg. So we could actually just do 30 times root 3, or 30 root 3 would be the side of that leg. Now, if root 3 is like about 1.7, 30 times 1.7 is going to be about 51. So it's about 51 feet this way. 30 feet this way, about 51 feet this way. We saw it was 60 feet coming down this way. Let's look at number 17. Okay, it's showing about the same frame for this garage roof. Now, this whole angle is 120. And again, here we have an isosceles triangle. This altitude bisects this vertex angle, so we get a 60 and a 60 there. So we're really dealing with a 30, 60, 90 triangle right here, where the medium size length is a 6. So we want to find out what this side is, which happens to be the short side, the way this triangle is oriented. And that would have been the short side times root 3 to be 6. So 6 divide out the root 3 and rationalize gives us 6 root 3 over 3, which is 2 square root of 3. So this length here, this short side of the triangle, is 2 square root of 3. And we see that the other leg of the triangle, the longer leg of the triangle, is 6. Now, double the short side, or 4 root 3, is going to be the hypotenuse. So this is going to be 4 square root of 3. And then this other side over here, 4 square root of 3. And same thing for here. So let's see what we got. So how long is each of the top pieces? Each one of these is 4 square root of 3. And square root of 3 is about 1.7. So 4 times... 1.7 approximately equal to 4 times 1.7. This is give us 4 plus 2.8, which gives us 6.8. So it's approximately 6.8 feet each one of these pieces. One this way, one this way. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the next one, number 18. Find the value of each variable. If your answer is not an integer, express it in simplest radical form. Okay, try to avoid decimals. So let's see what we got. Here, we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that means it's isosceles, and A and B are going to be equal to each other. Also, in a 45, 45, 90, the hypotenuse is root 2 times the leg length. So each one of these legs must be a 12. So we got those. So this gives us a 12 by 12 by 12 root 2, 45, 45, 90. Now over here, this is the short side because it's opposite the 30. This is a 30 in a right angle there. It means that 60 must be up there, which means that C is the medium size side. And the short side, which is 12 times root 3, is going to be the medium size side or the other leg, which is 12 root 3. Double the short side for 24 is going to be our D then. So here we have a 12, 12 root 3, 24. Short side, double short side hypotenuse, short side times root 3 gives us 
the other leg. So I get number 19. Okay, for number 19, let me switch colors up. Uh, for 19, it's another 45, 45, 90. Here, they're giving us this hypotenuse length of the 30, 60, 90. So the 30 is going to be down there. Now the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 is twice the short side. So this A must be 9 square root of 3. And root 3 times the short side is the other leg. So we have 9 root 3, which is the short side, times square root of 3. That simplifies to 9 square root of 9, which is 9 times 3, which gives us 27. So this C length here must be 27. It's got 27 for C, 18 root 3 for the hypotenuse, 9 root 3. Double check it. Root 3 times the short side gives us the 9 times 3, that's 27. The short side doubled, 18 root 3 is the hypotenuse. Now for this other triangle, this is a 45, 45, 90. These two legs are congruent because it's isosceles. That's got to be 9 root 3 for that one. And then root 2 times 9 root 3 gives us, and we multiply these together, we get 9 square root of 6. And square root of 6 doesn't simplify. So B is going to be 9 root 6. D is 9 root 3. A is 9 root 3. C is 27. And we got them.